Hey, welcome back. This is still Drug Talk TV, and today we're covering a very basic video. What's a drug test, and what are the two main types of drug testing that occur? Okay, a drug test. A drug test is simply a technological analysis of a biological specimen. This may be urine, hair, blood, oral fluid, even sweat and toenails are starting to be tested for when it comes to drug testing. A lab will simply take this biological specimen and it will test for either the presence of or absence of the drug or what's called a metabolite. A metabolite is simply a byproduct your body makes when it's metabolizing the drug through your system. Hence the word metabolite is derived from the word metabolism. Now drug testing in itself can test for either things like performance enhancing drugs like steroids in the sports world, illegal drugs in the employment world or even in the non-employment world when it comes to things like THC which is marijuana or cocaine or even for things that are legal but perhaps not prescribed like when a nurse has to take a medical professional panel. All of these are going to be covered in much more depth in future videos so if you want to subscribe click below. All right, moving on. There are two types of drug testing done in the United States currently, non-chain of custody drug testing and chain of custody drug testing. Now I'm going to go over the difference between these two types of drug tests because odds are if you're living in America, a drug test may be in your future. The type of drug testing is completely different than the methods of drug testing such as oral fluid, urine, or hair, or the reasons for drug testing such as pre-employment, random selection, or post-accident. But have no fear, I will cover those in future videos. Alright, first of all we're going to start with non-chain of custody testing. I'm going to hit a few key points for you and then we're going to move on to chain of custody testing. Here's the things you need to know. Number one, it's non-standardized. This means that it's going to be in a wide variety of situations when it is used. There won't be any kind of standard forms. It might be a doctor's office. It might be a specific type of program where they need to drug test. But here's the thing you need to know. Number two, it's rare. The reason why it's rare is number three. It does not involve a possible legal outcome or decision to be made. Hey, it's time for the good stuff now. Chain of custody testing. This is the most prevalent type of drug testing in the world today. Or in this case, basically America because we're the ones that drug test. Now, here's the reasons why chain of custody drug testing is the most prevalent. Number one, every single form is unique. Much like a fingerprint, it's got the chain of custody ID number that corresponds not only to the company you're testing for, but also to that specific form. Number two, every step of the way along the process with a chain of custody form is signed for and documented. This begins with the collector and you verifying that the specimen gets tagged, gets bagged, and sent to the lab. During that process, you sign off for and view what is happening. They sign for it, the courier signs for it, the lab signs for it, the scientist signs for it, everything all the way along the process. This way, when it does come time for a legal decision because you didn't get a job because of a negative drug testing outcome, they have the recourse to prove chain of custody was intact all the way through the process, and in that case, you're probably screwed. Okay. So here's the thing to know. If a chain of custody is not intact when it gets to the lab, they're probably not going to test it and they're going to notify the company and you'll be sent for a retest. There are rare occasions when the lab might give a company the option to do a non-chain of custody test with a chain of custody test form. However, if they do so, they cannot use this for any type of legal decision. So most companies usually decide to have you go and retest and start from the very beginning and they don't get charged anything for the botched collection. So there you have it. What's a drug test and what are the two types of drug tests that you need to know about from a legal viewpoint? Now at this point, if you've done something illegal, the chain of custody is intact and the test result came out not in your favor, like I said earlier, you're pretty much hosed. But you know what? It's just time to move on. But however, if you had a false positive and you know you did not do any drugs, that will be covered in a future video, so stay tuned. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a blast making it. So if you want to keep in touch with what's going on with Drug Talk TV, click below and subscribe. And in the meantime, 
You can check us out on Facebook.com slash Drug Talk TV or drop me a line with a question. Questions at DrugTalkTV.com and I'll try to get to it on a future video. In the meantime, be well.